They made a commitment to work towards progress. This evening, Columbus leaders continue a conversation about race relations. The roundtable discussions kicked off last month. Tonight's talk is the second in the series. Here again is WCBI's Bobby Martinez. Here we are in 2020, and, and I think, first of all, it's sad that we're still having to have these discussions. In a year that has seen the topic of race come to the forefront, Bishop Scott Vollin says he hopes that honest discussions will help ease the tensions. Our nation is so divided right now politically, racially, economically, socially, and in so many different ways that I think right now people need to be working to bring people together because there's so much more that we can accomplish together. There's so much more when we understand that our similarities far outweigh our differences. The discussion Tuesday night focused on race relations in the workplace. The panelists addressed questions surrounding racial prejudice in the workplace, some of the causes, and many other questions were asked to a panel of 10, including Volin. We've been part of this group here in Columbus that has been working towards making Columbus a better place for the residents, a better place for outsiders to come and move in and, and really just live up to the the reputation or the nickname that Columbus has as the friendly city. So we've been working towards racial reconciliation and helping to kind of just bridge some of those gaps in our community. Ballin says when it comes to making a change, consistency has to be on the forefront. I think it's very important because consistency is key. To have these things happen once in a blue moon when some type of tragic event comes up really does us little good because then we become reactionary and, and I think it's very important to be proactive. Reporting in Columbus, Bobby Martinez, WCBI News. Now this virtual discussion also features Columbus Mayor Robert Smith, MUW President Nora Miller, Police Chief Fred Shelton and other local stakeholders.